of something you learned that absolutely blew your freaking mind. I'm going to tell you exactly why they always give you free bread at restaurants. See, the moment you eat this bread, it turns to sugar in your bloodstream so quick. That causes your blood sugar to spike, causes your blood sugar to crash. After that meal, you're ordering dessert, you're eating more, and... So this individual is probably the most popular promoter of what is called the feel great system. And these are just fiber supplement packets that cost a tremendous amount of money. And their biggest marketing ploy is demonizing any sort of refined carbohydrate and also demonizing the hormone insulin. These individuals fear monger around any sort of rapid increase in blood glucose in response to a high glycemic carbohydrate. A high glycemic carbohydrate simply means the carbohydrate increases your blood glucose much higher than a low glycemic carbohydrate. The higher your blood glucose response after eating a carbohydrate, the higher on the glycemic index it is. The highest foods on the glycemic index include starchy carbohydrates, some fruits, and a lot of bread. And it's proposed by these individuals that the higher your blood glucose levels go, the more hungry you will feel once your blood glucose levels return back to baseline. But when you simply compare high glycemic versus low glycemic diets, which have the exact same calories in it, there are no differences in subjective ratings of hunger or fullness and no differences in energy intake. Even more interesting, studies have been done specifically looking at the glycemic response to bread. One study compared three different breads. And this top line is the bread that's considered the highest glycemic bread. Your blood glucose does not begin to rise until about 15 minutes after ingesting the bread. And it doesn't come back down to normal until two hours after consuming the bread which is when this individual proposed you would begin feeling hungry. With that being said, blood glucose came back down to normal. It didn't dip below baseline. Therefore, the idea that after eating bread, you will begin to develop low blood glucose, get extremely hungry and begin ordering desserts is simply just demonstrably false. Additionally, the only food these participants ingested was bread. And it still took two hours for their blood glucose to get back down to baseline. But after you eat bread at a restaurant, you're going to eat your main course as well which will keep your blood glucose levels elevated for a much longer period of time. Therefore, by the time your blood glucose gets back down to normal, it'll probably be between three and five hours after consuming the first slice of bread. And most people don't wait that long to order dessert. And now trust me, I'm not telling people that they should be going around and eating a bunch of bread because there are no micronutrients inside of bread and there are much better carbohydrate alternatives. But this individual isn't even telling people not to eat the bread. He's simply telling them to take his fiber supplement before eating the bread. And in this study, there was a bread that was enriched with fiber. And again, if we look at the graph, blood glucose levels all end up at the exact same place. Additionally, a much better and probably cheaper alternative is to either eat a meal containing protein and fat or order some sort of fibrous vegetable. And if you want to learn how to take control of your health and energy and still eat out at restaurants without setting back your progress, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.